This is gonna make a huge difference with my Supra project and other projects that I have. We are a bit late for reviewing and unboxing Bamboo Lab's new printer, but now we have it. Not only one, but we have two. I don't know if the table can hold that much weight, but I'm gonna lower it down. I had to show you. Let's unbox it. All right, let's get a side cutter and cut these straps and then removing these latches. Now we can lift the box up. You don't have to rip the box off because if you have a problem, you're gonna put it back and then ship it to them and they will replace it for you. All right, next we're gonna release these. You have two on this side and two on the other side. Now we can lift this. We have the manual and some stickers. And this is the toolbox, I believe. It's just a foam. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on this table because it's not gonna be here. Actually, I'm thinking to put it on X1C Carbon's place because this is a bit higher. So if I put it over there and the X1C will be here, it will be better. Looking good. Okay, now we have to remove the back and also this. Oh nice, they also put hand placement underneath. This is what I mean, you can put your hand, when you put it on a table, your hand not gonna be stuck, so they thought about everything really. So if we take this for example, and if I wanna place it somewhere else, I can't put my hand here, I have to hold it like this and then lift it like this, but when I'm putting, it is gonna be a problem. I have to do it like this and if your hand slips, that's not gonna be good. Okay, I think it's better to put it on the floor so you guys can see better what I'm gonna do and how we're gonna remove the foams and put the AMS on because the AMS is inside and bolts on. Or I'm gonna remove this and lower the bed down. All right, here is the manual. It shows you every step. So now we did these and we're gonna move on to the AMS. We did this. Now we're gonna remove these and then take the AMS out and I'm gonna follow this exactly. All right, before taking these out, we're gonna need tools. You can use your own tool, but I'm gonna show you what comes in the package because it comes with the tools. Here is the tool kit. They also give you 1.0.4 extra nozzle, camera privacy cover, nozzle blocker, and greases, allen keys, and razor blade, and this is the filament cutter. Now we're gonna use the allen keys for removing the AMS, but this is what we have for the tools. This is for the filament holder, and this is for the colors. I always wanted to get one, but now they are providing it with a new printer, which is really nice. It's important because when you wanna match color, if you have the colors in front of you, it will be really nice, but I wanna make a spinning wheel so I can put it on the pegboard. Whenever I need it, I will take it out. But yeah, that's really nice.
All right, that's pretty much everything. I put the same rubber on this wire just to organize all these things and the right extruder just goes to the AMS and the other one for the spool and you're gonna have to be careful not to put anything here because this is opening and closing. You also have the same thing in the front so you're gonna have to be careful on these things. All right, we are done. I had to put it there but I was thinking to put it here but it was too big that's why I had to put the table a bit four fingers now it's good and I have good ventilation over there few things I like about it already the AMS 2 Pro has already drying function in it which the AMS normal one didn't have that so I was using reality space pipes whenever I was using any CF material for printing the Subra project because with the first print I was having good print and the second one it was getting worse even though I was using a new spool maybe here in Spain I have a higher humidity I had to try it after every print and then print it again and then I was having no problem because these filaments are expensive and you don't want to waste it and have something like this alright the second thing I like is the door because it's opening all the way while the X1C opening till this far and I like how they kept the power button exactly here where it's the same thing with the X1C. All right, another feature that this AMS has, it will also tell you how much filaments you have. This one is low. And if you look at the AMS, the blue one is very low and these are almost near. And it's showing us the humidity, 53. I haven't tried these, so we're gonna test out. It's PLA, let's say start. So when we are drying the filament, we cannot use the AMS. So I'm gonna unload it and then we're gonna dry it. I can hear the fan is working. We're gonna leave it like this a bit. Now we have 55% of humidity and see how low it can be. All right, it's been after three hours and the humidity dropped down from 55% to 30%. And I can feel it's warm now and all the four filaments now dry. Now I'm gonna load it up and print something.
Alright, it's been after a few days using Bamboo Labs new printer H2D. The first thing I was very happy about it is the AMS2 Pro because with the X1C, whenever I wanted to use a filament that's been sitting for some time, I had to dry it with the Creality Space Buy and then putting it over there. But with the AMS2 Pro, it was a huge upgrade and I don't need to take it out and dry it. I can dry it over there and then print it. So here I did some printing for my Supra project. Some of them are normal print and the other one are multicoloring. With the multicoloring, because we have two nozzles, we don't have that much wasting and this print is 0.2 millimeter. You can go to 0.12 and it will be way better, but I think this is very good for 0.2. I also had very good result with the X1C. But with the H2D, we have less waste of filament and let me show you how. So I printed the door with the H2D multicoloring and it's about 52 grams and this is how much waste I have. Of course, a part of the supports. And I printed the other side with the X1C. I don't see that much change with the quality. I think they are doing a very good job and they are very close. But the downside with the X1C, this is how much waste filament we have. It's about 42 grams of filament waste and the model is 52 grams. So that's a huge upgrade if you are printing with X1C, you have that much of waste and with the H2D, only that much. And here is the front bumper. I used multicoloring for printing, but I was painting it manually. You can see it's jagged edge and not even across this line. So I found a trick, if you tilt the model so your line gonna be horizontal with the build plate and using layer painting and we have something like this. It will be clean line and not jagged like this because we can see with the mouse and you are painting by hand it will be like this. But when you are doing with the layer height, you're not gonna have this. I used the same method for the side skirt as well and came out really good. So I put this side on just to check it out and everything works good. So if you haven't printed the panels yet, I recommend you to wait a bit because now I'm working on the latches for the hood and also the trunk and it will be more realistic because whenever you are driving, the trunk and the hood not gonna be popping out. I have nothing but good things about H2D Bamboo Labs new printer. The build volume is really good i was happy with the x1c but this is a huge upgrade so a lot of you have been asking me about the filament i'm using for the chassis so i'm using phd cf by bamboo lab for the electrical version and gas version because it's heat resistant material and i had no problem with it but you're gonna have to dry it and then use it even if it's a new roll and you print with it, the first print will be good. For the second print, you have to dry it and then print it again. So with the H2D's AMS2 Pros unit, it will be a very good option to print the chassis with it. So I'll make sure to put all the links from the filament and the printers in the video description box below. Thanks to Bamboo Lab for sponsoring this video. Now Bamboo Lab is my main printer because when I'm sending a file, I don't have to worry about anything and it will do the job for you. All the links will be in the video description box below from the files and also the filaments and the printer I'm using. Stay tuned for the next video. We will be working on the hood and also the trunk. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.